S T R O. How many y'all came to win? Oh, they asking my name, huh? You ready? S T R O. I ain't come to play with you. Yeah. Life challenging, but I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you. Trade. It's early, I'm up. Yeah. I can't spend the day with you. I'm out of my business. Uh. I ain't getting paid with you. Nope. My color bright. Yep. I ain't finna play with you. Man, I gotta come clean like Man, a man with clean. you. I've been on my everybody drop when I drop. Yeah. Look at shorty, she uh. support bra. Uh. Lifting up. Never not on my grind. Super shitty time. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, down the tide. You will never know, you will never try. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah, beats, leave it in the street. Chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I Wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show sure don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired, can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. beats, leave it in the street, case on the news. All my records go hard, this a champion hit yeah. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading the pit yeah. Tend to hear with anybody, take them, I can shake them yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey yeah. Made to put in work, I don't think they really hurt me like yeah. Move the chains, I'm about to make a play Suited up, yeah. you kicking off against me. Hope you ready, get it up. Yeah. I be booted up, popping out a sprinter or a truck. Uh. Whole team chasing bags while they chasing us. Yeah. Calling audible, I read the game. I think it's time to switch. You get hit if I miss. A coach, the city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23.
make it the 24 yard line. At their own 24 yard line. Come on, set. 30 base, let's go. Yeah, let's go, set lunch. <laughs> A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Nice job there on the tackle, keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Let's go, D, let's go. High seven, let's go. Mike by four, Mike by four, Mike by four, let's go. From the gun, one. Got an open man, it's Radley. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's got Evans. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Second and six. So we get a traffic there, and that's complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. the carry it's Chubb and an alley to run and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 12 yards is the pickup good for an eagle first down this running game so important for them and they know that it helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards let's face it it's their identity and that's what they want to play to they want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening Chubb with a first down carry as he'll get about three out of it. Make it second and seven coming up. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Here we go, here we go. 90, Cut, cut, cut. 91 is the mic. We want this. Check 91. 91 is the mic. Wow. Ooh. Don't get nervous. 91 is the mic. Grace don't travel. Grace don't travel. Check 91. 91 is the mic. Here's a second and seven. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll go down at the 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. 
In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped it to one. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll try again with Chubb. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. No score after one on EA Sports. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. I'm coming after you. Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. 54. Mike. Ready. Go. Operating from the gun. Love. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Well, that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick. But that type of a drive should end in the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Out of the gun, Locke. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And it'll bring up third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Locke. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. On first down, it's Locke. A screen to Bell. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Now a first down carry by Bell. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. From the 31, Luck. Ebron caught left side. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. 
A good lane to run there for Bell as he'll get about seven on first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. Luck now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Now it's Luck. Toward the pylon, caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing, our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Bell, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Le'Veon Bell with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Will Lutz on for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Seven, After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bashed it. Super toe. They run. Chug. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Coming, I'm coming. 
to throw again. Love. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. one that's intercepted picked off by Ronald Darby and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half boy Brandon that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down I mean you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going instead he's trying to hit a home run you've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that he's going to take off with it it won't be a sack but it's no gain and it brings up second down the Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Luck. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This fielded at the two. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. At their own 22 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Back to throw. Luck. Short little throw to Ebron. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now Luck. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. That's taken on the 25. That one in the books as a 64-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Airing this one out for Evans. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Being chased out left. Now he'll pull it down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. 
Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. They run it again with Chubb. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw. Love. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's second and eight. Forced out to his left. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. From the gun, Love. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Cameron Hayward in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack, and that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They'll try and run for it with Bell. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run it with Bell. And an alley to run. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. When they dialed up that fourth down run, something tells me they didn't envision it hitting all the way up in the end zone. No, I think you're right about that. But how many times do we witness short yardage runs, stacked defensive front, everyone pressing the line of scrimmage? Yeah, there's not much help on the backside there. If you pop through, there's no one back there. And we just witnessed it there. A long sprint to the end zone. Probably looking around wondering, where did everyone go? <laughs> Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Love. Steps away to his left. And now he'll let this one go deep. Back over. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys are back within a single score. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. 
And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter play. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Lock. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And again this time to the tailback. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. 20, 10. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Lutz to try to add the PAT. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss this fielded at the two and not a bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive First down, Love. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season, as his guys are back within a single score. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. And he'll get in, although there is a flag down. But if it's offsides, this is going to stand. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. They come up here on first and ten. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Give them five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. That's what I'm talking about. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Here's Luck. Short little throw to Ebron. He chucks him aside. Dumped him. 
A gain of 19 and picking up the first. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Bell. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. From the 22, Luck. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Sharp move, but can't find much space. Drop just inside the 20. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Three yards on first, four on second, and now five on third down. Move the sticks. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Now he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here... And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, Bobby Wagner, able to get back in coverage and knock it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Love. Nowhere to 
escape, and he goes down. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg him, do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, current formula is not working right now. This quarterback now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 Mike. And it's Operating from the gun. Love. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one handed. It's a big play there for the Eagles. 58 yards. He stopped right at about the line of scrimmage. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. But Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city, with one and you're in the that's a fantastic feeling so for Kansas back home next week meanwhile for Philadelphia they come back to the pack a bit as their record falls to seven and three and they'll have a quick turnaround as they're back in action Thursday afternoon at around 3 30 Eastern for the traditional Thanksgiving Day game in Dallas Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports. I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long. It's only on top of the throne. I ain't a king of the pawn. Hop on a jet across the globe. I guess the boat is my home and there's so many milk. Cause bird in my dome and like turbulent in the air. I'm switching these flows. If you lick on my neck, boy, I'm letting it snow. I'm sturdy as hell as a vessel alone. They showing me love in my city. Gang saying hippies. Women like they you know what I'm about. I'm not, I'm not. The stereotypes, they do not fit me. I'm bigger than life. Give everyone dogs. I'm not a guard. Go hawk with a squad. I'm playing my part. Like from LeBron. Rings of the team. I'm still Jackson at heart. The homie calling from a cell. A couple of homies be making a thing. I just want all of them dudes to do well. Not worry about taking a couple of L's. No sin for me. Just win for me. Don't kill for me. Just live for me. Keep it real for me. We eat together. Leave the bill for me. Like. Hand on my heart. I give it all I got. Walk the walk and talk the talk. Take a higher, that's a god. Hand on my heart. No, I give it all I got. Walk the walk, talk the talk. Take a higher, that's a god. Never stopping, that's a must. Always winning, never lost. GPS, another loss. GPS, another loss. Who do it better than me? Yeah. Vision on 2020. Yeah. BBS, clip a D. Yeah. Determination, laser focus. Banging on they on they. All my records go hard, this a champion hit yeah. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading the pit Yeah, to hit with anybody, take a mic and
shake them, yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them, I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey, yeah. made to put in work, I don't think they really hurt me like, yeah. move the chains, I'm about to make a play, make a play. move the chains, tell them get about the way, the way. move the chains, I'm about to win the game, move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains, yeah. ain't no stopping me, ain't no topping me, I am up, uh, uh. number one seed, ain't nobody popping up, got a squad of gorillas from the jungle suited up, yeah. you kicking off with this, me, hope you ready, get it up, yeah. Yeah. booted up, popping out a sprinter or a truck, uh. whole team chasing bags while they chasing us, yeah. calling audible, I read the game, I think it's time to switch, you get hit.